everyone and welcome back to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we are weekly planning again in the pocket but I have kind of a new system that I'm trying and I just want to kind of take you guys along. So I've already kind of pre-planned. What I'm doing different this week is I've kind of color-coded stuff. I needed to kind of break my life up. I'm trying to balance everything stay more relevant in my planner actually do the things that i put in my planner i don't know about you guys but often i write things down that need to be done and i don't look in the planner i just kind of try to go off memory and then at the end of the day when i look at my planner i haven't done what i'm supposed to do so let's get to weekly and let's see what week we are in you guys we are basically in September but let's get started I want to um I'm not going to do a whole lot of deco because I need to be again functional in my planner let me get rid of this pad for a minute because I need to get down to some business okay so I have my pad here um and reference and let me just do a quick little color coding I was just sitting here pre-planning and I just whipped out my Crayola markers and I just put a dot by everything let me show you the other process of this really quickly so this little notebook came with my Moterm cover um, and I use it to take notes during zoom meetings or whatever so what I've done is just went in and basically did a weekly brain dump like this is going to be my going forward plan of being intentional in my planner so etsy things related it has its own color shopify things because i am opening up a new shopify account but i will be keeping my etsy for certain things and then the salon uh, which right now i'm just working kind of part-time in the salon i'm really dedicating a lot of my time and energy to my shops because i need for it to supplement my income that's in the salon things are slow so why things are slow um, I'm just working it part time, but basically working my uh, two shops here full time. Um, and my personal, it has its own color. These are the things that I need to track weekly, um, check on daily, and then I have my goals. So right now I just have financial under goals. And then YouTube, this is what I wanna do, three videos a week. So I need to reference these things. So I just have this, I have a bunch of little notebooks around and I try to use them. I don't care what color they look like, whatever. Um, just, you know, I've noticed I wrote something in here and never finished it, but yeah, this is what I do. So let's get started and let's be intentional. Um, and let me know in the comments how you plan to be intentional in your daily and weekly planning. So first what I'm gonna do, that's why I said it's not gonna be about the stickers this week, it's gonna be about being functional and getting to the nitty gritty of what I have to do. And as you can see, I have a lot to do this week. Um, this weekend, I gotta take my daughter to Atlanta. She got a job offer, so we have to relocate. Um, we're taking her car, so I have to get a hitch for her car to add on to my car and then drive down. I'm supposed to be opening my new shop I was going to open it on the first, but I just don't feel like I will be able to get all the orders out before I leave. Um, it's a possibility I could. So um, as I'm planning, I'll look into that and see how I'll be able to do that because I still have orders from my Etsy shop that I need to do. So I may push the opening of the shop between Friday and Sunday. So um, I'm going to start with pretty much my personal stuff. Also, I have to contact the IRS this week. So I'm just gonna start on Monday and mo mo Monday. Monday, I need to fill orders and then go to the post office. And then I have some that I filled over the weekend that needs to go. Um, I do have to work tomorrow. And I'm designing some new releases. So tomorrow is also a design day. Tomorrow is gonna be hectic. And my husband and I share office and sometimes he can work from the bed. So um, he's gonna let me get a little bit of uh, office time in tomorrow. Um, I need to call the IRS. I owe taxes, so I need to let them know I'm not in a position to pay them. What can they do for me? 
Um, I need to do laundry, which I'm thinking I may put off until Tuesday. I need to record tomorrow, Monday, Money Mondays. And see, as I'm writing, as you can see, it's not going to leave room for me to do a bunch of deco. Um, post office laundry. Okay, for Tuesday, I had down the grand opening of the shop. Uh, I'm going to wait before I fill that in. Um, Tuesdays is podcast day. So I'm going to skip a line just in case I do decide to turn that into um, the grand opening. Like I said, I got a lot going on. Um, podcast. Sometimes I record my podcast early, especially when I have a topic. I've done research. I've done an outline for it. And this week, I just didn't do that. So sometimes it'll be a little different. But Tuesdays, it's podcast day. Also, I want to film a video on that day for Wednesday. But I think I can do that on Wednesday. Um, it takes me a couple of days to do laundry. Don't judge. So I'm going to put laundry down again. And then I need to call the MBA because I could not find that flag. So I need to either go on that site or call them. And then this day I need to secure the hitch. I'm deciding if I should do that Monday. My plate is full Monday, so I'm going to secure the hitch for my car, for my daughter's car. Um, oh, and I need to add my skincare journal cards. Um, I think I might save that to the grand opening. Um, Tuesday will be a design day. I'm off from the salon that day. So that'll be a design day. And then I want to type up my new weekly routine. And so Tuesday will be the best day for that. Um, also here I have paid Wayfair and I think Wayfair is due on the second. So I'm going to move that over to Wednesday. And seem like something else that would normally be like Brian. Um, Wednesday is trash day. Y'all, I have a busy week ahead. And like I said, this pre-planning just worked for me. I just stuck this doll here because I had it. And <laughs> I'm just trying to use the thing, all the things that I have because it's hard to like de-stash. Um, and then I do need to film Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, the video is supposed to be either a DIY or either an information type of video. So let me put that there. And then I wanted to order some more foil, but then when I looked at it, I think the foil will come while I'm out of town. So I'm gonna move that. So that leaves a little room for deco. So let's go on to Thursday. Um, Thursday, I have to pack for Atlanta and then help my daughter with her packing and get my stuff together as well. And then I'm going to do laundry. Okay. And then Friday is driving all day road trip. And then Saturday I'll be in Atlanta. So I'll just put Atlanta. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, Sunday I'll be returning home. So it'll be an all day driving situation. But normally, if I leave Atlanta about 8 o'clock, I get home about 6, 7 o'clock. So, I'm going to try to leave at 8 um, before the sun goes down. So, oh, and then I have to find my unemployment on Sunday. And I'm debating if I'm taking any planners or any um, computers or devices because we'll be moving her stuff into her apartment on Saturday, we have to go to her storage. So, matter of fact, let me put this down. Destiny moves. And then go to storage. Okay. And then Friday, I don't know. I need to get... Oh, I had on here book my hotel, and I don't know why. Okay. I need to reserve my hotel... The day that I do the hitch, I'm going to do it on Wednesday. I'm going to reserve my hotel. Okay. So 
so right now that's what I have, but I still have this. So if anything needs to be added, it doesn't look like I have a lot of room to add anything. So let me see what kind of functional stickers that I have with me to walk. And I know I won't get to walk Monday because um, I have too much to do. And the time I have to be at work, I'm just not, I'm just going to be truthful. I'm not going to get up no earlier. Um, I need my morning routine time, which is coffee. So I'm not going to walk on Monday. Tuesday, I could possibly get a walk in. So I'm going to put walk. And I know probably once when I get to Atlanta, I'll be doing a bunch of walking. That should look a little too big. Um, Wednesday, I'm off so I could possibly walk. And these are just oops, so that's why I'm using them. Y'all know I use <laughs> my own oops. And then these are, was an oops because it says taupe, but it's not taupe. It is actually the blush color, so. And then it's not even really the blush color. The color just came out wrong, so I'm going to use these for the design days. So these I know in my shop, but they won't look this color. So I'm going to use these to kind of highlight some things. And again, I've just been trying to be more functional in my planner. I have not done a lot of um, deco because I just want to see what exactly it is I need to do and I just don't want to be distracted by the deco okay I'm just going to do like a top three with these again these are the teeny dots and again these are perfect for your pocket planner um, I think that will be like my next video showing you guys how to use most of the things the functional items in my shop because again once I switch my shop over from um budget inserts um it was really mainly for functional items and like i said i just want to be a little more functional in my planner and i want you guys to be more functional in your planner too so again these teeny dots are perfect um i want to show you how you can use them like for your tracking and stuff like that And I actually like this oops color. So I have those little dots there. Um, put these here. Okay, and then this is from, this is a, oops, but it's from Ella Bella. This is her freebie. Um, check out, I do have a PR team now, 
Y'all, a dot just came from somewhere. Um, I do have a PR team now, and this is Ella Bella. She's one of my PR girls, and this is um, part of her freebie. Um, when you use her code and you get 15% off. And I let them pick the things from my shop that they like. And this one is just a oops because the color was off. So we were trying to narrow the color down and get everything the color that we wanted. So I'm just using this one because, again, it was an oops, oops. Look. And that's kind of all that I really need. I, again, don't want to, like, drink it up. So this is pretty much what I have for the week. Um, again, I just used what I pre-planned with, which is this pad from Cloth and Paper, which I absolutely love. I've already decided, like, the architect, architect pad from them I have not used, but this I would buy again. And so I thought about selling my architect pad, architect pad because I just like this, and I would just use this over and over. So let's pop this back in, and I still feel like I got some priorities my definitely priority is to, let me put this here right now while I'm thinking about it, is to book the hitch, then the IRS, and then you got somebody hacked into my PayPal account, so I had to get a new account and new card, and then the guy at the bank told me just to get a prepaid card to like shop online, so I got a prepaid card coming, and then when I applied for the um, prepaid card, um, that's coming. It was just saying how you basically can use the prepaid cards to kind of do your syncing funds. Like you can just designate each card to um, whatever you want. So that got me to thinking like, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Like for my business, like put one for my business and one for different syncing funds that I have. So that way I'll have the money on them. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I am gonna walk these two days. And I really think that I could walk on Thursday. Let me just get another one. Okay. So this is what we're looking like, you guys. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, how are you being intentional and functional in your planner? What are your plans for the week? Which planner are you using? I hope these aren't too many questions for you, but I like to know this stuff. I really, really do. And I love hearing your comments in the comment section. I love to interact with you. So do me a favor, leave me a message in the comments. Again, let me know how you're being intentional in your planner and if you're being functional in your planner. If today was your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content from myself, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload new content. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.